Hello everyone. I am Funke Akindele Bello. Okay, the production of Omogeto the Saga. It was fun, it was hard work, I must say. It took us almost, what am I saying, a year for pre production. Um, right from writing the script. I did a lot of drafts, you know. We had close to like 10 drafts of Omogeto the Saga scripts. We keep amending, 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 correction, correcting, correction, correcting, till we got to the last one we used for the production. Even while filming, I still edited the script. Yes, I created the story. I came up with the idea. I'm one of the writers. I'm actually the head writer of Omogeto the Saga. The original script of Omogeto the Saga had UK scenes in it and Nigerian scenes. But when COVID-19 came knocking, we had to change things, move things around so that we can all be in Nigeria and film. So we had to change the story and we stayed back to film. It was a lot of work for me, I must say, but don't forget, this is what I love doing. Production is everything for me. It is my food, it's my water. I must say, I love it to the core. So I got in touch with some writers. I wrote with um, Collins and Stanka, you know, back and forth corrections, but we came up with something nice. So when we finished with the script writing, we got it ready gave it out to the cast, the crew members, and we started working on the production design. I worked closely with Leko Isiaka of Just Art, and we had a small time because we've been working together for a while now from Jennifer's Diary, In the Streets, my siblings and I, I used to return, and some of our movies on the same one production platform. So we got talking, I already know what I want for or we'll get to the saga, what picture we want to achieve, you know, the templates, what idea we have for it. And Lekwa is very creative and he came up with more designs. I corrected some, he corrected some of mine and we came up with a masterpiece. All the sets are so beautiful. I love them all from Stone's house to Lefty Mrs. Benson's house to the hideout. I must say, I love all the hideout, all the Askamaya bees den, you know, their den, the exteriors, the, 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 the uh, Askamaya ghetto itself, it was beautiful all through, I must say. So, getting the set ready was fun with Lekwa Isia car. Then we moved on to Lefty's car, that bug. Oh, from when I was writing the script, I had that bug in my head. Lefty has a convertible, want to be convertible. How am I going to achieve this? So I sent someone down to Bando to go. Okay, I went online and searched for bugs, you know, and the Vokes, and we saw different options. We contacted the owners. A yes, no, a yes, no. Oh, bad condition is still good. It's not good till we got the one we used. So I sent someone down to Bando. Go and get this box for me. And we got it, took it down to 3D cars. Ooh, that got sin. Oh, my darling brother. God sin killed it. That bug that we took there, that was looking old school like, you know. It just pack, pack, cut it, you know, shaped it up, painted it, fixed the interior. I must say, it did a great job. Thank you so much. God bless you. 3D cars. Thank you, thank you. I love left his car. It's beautiful. I love it. The graffiti was designed by Lecon and we brought it to life. It was awesome. So moving on to wardrobe, makeup, costume. I wanted colors. As Kamaya bees, as Kamaya ghetto, they love colorful hair. We, if you can remember the Omo ghetto one, we had the colorful hair doing there and we still wanted that in Omo ghetto, the saga. So, I called back the hair stylist, created the style. I created all the hairstyles. And right from the first time I get to this one, I just got a very good hairstylist to come and work with me and told him this is what I want. Especially Chomichoko's hair. I actually styled Chomichoko's hair myself. Touched it here and there. 
till we got what we wanted. It was a lot of work. We actually delayed production on set because I kept saying, no, change it, no, change it like this. Oh, let it be trendy a bit. Let it look till we got what we wanted. It was worth it though. Then another part of the pre-production was the training. Oh my God. I hate to walk out. I hate to walk out. <laughs> but we just had to to stay fit, to keep fit. We wanted to do all the stunts ourselves, the punches, you know, the kicks, the flips and everything, the pushing here and there. We wanted to do it ourselves. We don't want anybody to, we don't want a stunt person to do it. Shama wanted to do it herself. And you like, a character. <laughs> Even Thomas wanted to do it. But well, we did it first time on Ghetto, we were very, very thick there. But now too much ever. Mm. God, we are post. But we got back training. We give it our best. Okay, and we had sunny day. It took us in the physical training, um, dance, um, aerobics, and all the fight sequences. We choreographed all the fight sequences, and it was wonderful working with Sunny. He brought out the craze in us. Yes, and they beat us where we. Ah, I remember. What is the boy's name? Stone, Femi Stone. They and me or Kolawo. While I was work, while I was doing the fight sequence. Ah, they me, they me kicked me. Yes, the market is still there inside my mouth. <laughs> I couldn't cry. I had to hold on to finish the scene. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Okay, creating Lefty's character. Mm. Lefty has always been crazy, but I had to work more on her, you know. Now she lives in VGC as a, a mother. That's the mother that adopted them. Mrs. Benz is loaded. She's got cash. She's my mom's got dough, you know. So she can afford all these trendy shoes, outfits, expensive looks. But Lefty loves to wear haircuts. She is a tomboy. So I had to cut my hair again. Yes. I didn't find it odd cutting my hair because I'm an actor, don't forget. I, I like to give you my best. Yes, there are makeup you can use to achieve the look, but I'm very organic. I'm, I, I love the natural thing, you know. And it won't cost me anything to cut my hair. Yeah. So it was fun for me. I just wanted to do it real, do the best, give it my all. And I did it. And um, working on Omogeto the Saga was easy for us because 85% of it was filmed inside Sing One Studios outdoors, interiors. We built all the set, majority of the set, they were built in scene one studio. Yes. We have the water scene, if you can remember. We had yes, Kamaya bees were on the water. It, it was inside scene one studios, stone house. Everything was filmed in scene one studio. Maybe just the exteriors, the ghetto. So you need to check out scene one studio inside in there.